The Tamman here, Dwayne Love, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Season Predictions. Last episode we did Week 10, and today we'll be doing Week 11. But before we do that, let's recap my predictions, where I went 9-5, and five, same as last week. So, I've been very good with AFC predictions this year in the past couple of weeks, but this week was a bit different. Um, first of all, the Colts did beat Tennessee in a pretty fun Thursday night football game. And my upset did not come true of Houston winning. Um, we also had another um, upset with the Patriots being the Ravens Sunday football as a uh, Ravens fan. That one hurt. But good wins by the Raiders, Dolphins, and Steelers. That Dolphins game was pretty fun. Man, that Cardinals-Bills game was utterly fantastic. That De DeAndre Hopkins play, one of the best plays I've ever seen. That was just a really awesome game. Packers did beat Jacksonville, but it was a bit closer, but Packers did win. Giants won, so I got that upset correct, but the Washington football team did not win. The Lions won, um, and then the Rams won. But besides that, Buccaneers beat the Panthers pretty good. Um, the Saints beat the Niners, and Kirk Cousins got his first Monday night win, beating the Bears. Week 11 is here, everyone. I cannot believe it. Um, but we start and end with the NFC this week. So, NFC West duel here, Thursday Night Football. This one is hyped up for good reason. Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, DeAndre Hopkins, DK Metcalf, Cardinals, Seahawks, Arizona, Seattle. I'm going with the Seahawks. Um, for me, it comes down to just the reason of, I think, Seattle. I know they're struggling, but I just think that at home, they're going to come back. It's going to be a bounce-back game from them. And... You know, looking at that Cardinals-Bills game, for a majority, um, the Cardinals were losing. They didn't end up winning in a fantastic way, but I just think the Seattle Seahawks are going to win. It wouldn't shock me if the Cardinals won, but I just think momentum. Um, I think the Cardinals also have some defensive injuries, um, so I'm going to go with Seattle. I think it'll be very fun and very close, but I'm taking the Seahawks. This one's honestly a toss-up here in this big cap battle with the Lions and Panthers. Detroit, you know, DeAndre Swift has looked really good, the rookie running back, but Matthew Stafford has some injury concerns. So does Teddy Bridgewater, quarterback for Carolina. The Lions in predictions, whenever I, you know, pick them to lose, they win, and whenever I pick them to win, they lose. I honestly think that the Lions win this one. I just think that they have looked um, pretty good the past couple of weeks, and the Panthers' defense has gotten a lot of issues, and I think that's something Matthew Stafford can take advantage of um so drew Brees is injured prayers up to him i hope he gets better but in the meantime we'll be seeing james winston starting for the saints and i think the saints will beat the falcons um the saints falcons games are always the same every year there's these high scoring crazy games usually they split so it wouldn't shock me if atlanta won but i'm going with the saints here to win um i think james winston will be good in this scheme and i like sean payton to coach him up um, I think the Falcons' defense is really not that great, so I'm going with the Saints. Also, the Saints' defense has impressed me recently, so that's another reason I'm going with them. And also, speaking of impressive, the Vikings, they've gotten some nice wins recently. Dalvin Cook, not a big of a game against the Bears, but I still like this offense with Kirk Cousins, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, the Cowboys. Uh, uh, I'm just not a fan of them at this moment. I think the Vikings win this one in Minnesota. Tampa Bay and Los Angeles. This is super interesting. Tom Brady, Jared Goff, last time they played, it was a Super Bowl. This one, I think, will be another defensive game. I'm going with the Buccaneers, though. Um, I just think that the Rams like to run this play-action offense, and I think that's something the Buccaneers can shut down with their linebackers. I think they can shut down the run. And yes, Jaron Ramsey, Aaron Donald are good, but I really like this Tampa Bay O-line, and there's a lot of great playmakers here for Tampa Bay. I also like Darius Williams, cornerback for Los Angeles. But, even, you know, with him and Ramsey, I don't think that's enough to cover Tampa Bay. I think this will be a very close game. I saw a score prediction of Tampa Bay winning like 26-21. I actually really like that. I think it'll be somewhere in the 20s. Um, I, I have the Buccaneers winning. AFC versus NFC. I'm going to be going here with the Browns to beat the Eagles. Both teams have COVID concerns, but taking that out, Cleveland can run the ball very well, and Philadelphia cannot stop it. Cream Hunt, Nick Chubb, I, if you have them in fantasy, I would start them against the Eagles. Their run defense has been, oh boy, and the Eagles just looked really bad against the Giants. As a fan of them, they have a lot of issues. 
Um, I pray for the COVID players on each team that they get better. But in this one, I think the Browns win um, against the Eagles. I'm really excited for this game here. Phillip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts hosting Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to go with the Colts here. I guess you could call this an upset. For me, I would go with the Packers usually, but, you know, the Jaguars game, they won, but it wasn't really that great. And, yes, Aaron Rodgers is fantastic and Devontae Adams, but the Colts' defense, you know, can limit that. I think they have people like Darius Leonard to stop the run of the Packers. They have the offensive line to hold off the Packers' defense. I think this will be a very close game. It wouldn't shock me at all if Green Bay won, but I'm going with Indianapolis. Like Frank Reich with the Colts, like that coaching staff. They've had time to prep. I just really like Indianapolis here. This game is interesting because it seems like the Bengals and the Washington football team are always very similar. The last time these two teams played, it was in London. They tied. This year, they're both not doing so great. I could see this going the other way. I could see Cincinnati winning. Oh, Joe Burrow has a bounce back game. He does very well against a struggling Washington defense. Or what I'm going with is I think the Washington football team will win. Chase Young, Deron Payne will be a nightmare for that Bengals offensive line. Cincinnati will not be able to keep up with Alex Smith. I do think this will be close in a sense, but the Bengals secondary has not impressed me. I'm going with the Washington football team to win. But these two games, I could see them going either way. Um, easy one here with the Steelers over the Jaguars. Drake Luton has actually had some nice moments with Gardner Minshew out, praying that he gets better, but the Steelers are just one of the best teams. I'm going with another road team, the Titans over the Ravens. You know, as a Ravens fan, part of me is like, oh, the emotion, they'll bounce back. But the run defense hasn't been that great in Baltimore. Lamar Jackson has looked off the past couple of weeks. He's not playing that great. And until he proves me... I'm not I'm not gonna pick the Ravens to win this one. I think the Titans win this. I think they're gonna run out over the Ravens. I think the Texans will beat the Patriots. The first meeting of Deshaun Watson and Cam Newton. That'll be fun, but the Patriots offense is just very sluggish. I think this will be close. Bill Belichick is a very tremendous coach, but I like Deshaun Watson. I think in a game not the elements at home in his own stadium. I think he's gonna have a really nice day. I'm gonna be taking here um the Dolphins over the Broncos. Um, Drew Locke is not playing that well. The Broncos have a couple nice offensive players, Jerry Judy, but the Dolphins, I think, are going to get a lot of great defensive plays. I expect a lot of interceptions, a very messy game by Drew Locke. Um, I think that, you know, Vic Fangio, the coach of the Broncos, will make some stops with the Dolphins team. I have Miami winning like 27 to 13 or maybe 17, but... I'm going with Miami, and I think Justin Herbert's going to have a really nice game against this Jets secondary. Um, the Chargers, I think, will beat New York. And then, you know, kind of going on this AFC West trend here, I'm going with Kansas City over Las Vegas. I think since the Chiefs lost to the Raiders, they have improved. The Ra Raiders are great, too. This will be a great game between two really nice teams, really good teams in the AFC. Um, I think that this is going to be a big game. We're going to see or a big week. We're going to see a lot of these playoff wildcard things shape up. You know, what happens with the Raiders? They're there. The AFC South is going to be interesting with Tennessee and Baltimore and Green Bay and Indianapolis. You know, the winner of those games, um, you know, if the Colts win, but the Titans lose or vice versa. Cardinals in Seattle for the NFC West. Um, two wildcard teams potentially in the NFC. The Vikings could make a run. I think this is going to be a very telling week. Um, really about um, how the playoffs are going to shape up. And I think we could see, potentially, when this season ends, what happened in Week 11. Looking at fantasy here, I have Aaron Rodgers starting. I have Dalvin Cook. I have James Robinson. I don't know where my defense went, um, but I will be starting the Dolphins' defense here. And Mike Gesicki has been playing very good as well. Um, do I want to start DeAndre Swift? He's been very good recently. Hold on. That is really tempting. Um, hmm. Chase Claypool, Tyler Lockett. I mean, Dalvin Cook, I think, is going to do well. Flex Cooper Cup. Do I want him against that Tampa Bay defense? I don't know if I do. You know, he's been good this season for the Rams for sure, but Tampa Bay's defense is fantastic. I right, guys, I'm going to do. I'm going to do a bit of a upset here, everyone. I'm going to put DeAndre Swift starting in my flex, and then we'll move Mike Gesicki to the starting. So. Wait, can you have two tight ends starting? Huh. 
So I have Aaron Rodgers, Dalvin Cook, James Robinson, Ty Lockett. Um, actually, I'm going to start Big Ben over Aaron Rodgers. I just like that matchup more against the Jaguars defense. Okay. So I think Dalvin Cook has a really big game. Same with James Robinson against that Steelers run defense, though. I, he, I've been impressed with him, and I think he's going to be a big point of this focal point for Jacksonville. So I'm going to keep him. And in my Win Eagles win, I won last week, so I'm slowly climbing up. Justin Herbert, yes, Nick Chubb, James Robinson, um, T. Higgins against Washington. I do like Robbie Anderson. Is anyone else here I immediately like? CeeDee Lamb against that Vikings defense. Mike Davis against Detroit. I actually really like that matchup. So I want to start him over James Robinson. So I'm kind of doing half in the basket of James Robinson. One of my leagues, I'm starting him. The other one, I'm not. And then we'll put um, we'll put Justin Tucker here as the kicker. Um, because I think the Ravens are going to have trouble scoring some touchdowns. Be interesting to see how week 11 goes. And that, guys, will do it here for this episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win? It's going to be a fun week. And until then, this is my Tammy Love. Take care and have a good one, everyone.